What is going on YouTube? Prepared Wander down the man cave today and I got another review for you. This is a new Maxpedition backpack that I just got in and I wanted to go through some of the features and how I have it loaded up and we'll talk about that so stick around. Alright so I was really lucky enough to win this backpack on Instagram. Maxpedition was having a giveaway for July um, with their Instagram followers and I was chosen to receive the backpack in. I couldn't be happier. I mean, it's just, it's it's a great value for me to have a new backpack like this and, and to win it. So, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go over it um, and just show you the features of this backpack because I still think this is a great backpack to consider for whatever you're out doing. Um, the This is the Maxpedition Vulture 2. It's been in the lineup for Maxpedition for many years. I think, I think it's probably one of their original backpack designs. Um, and it is the biggest backpack that they have in their lineup, um, I think, in their legacy lineup. I don't know about their new lineup. I think their new packs, they have some bigger ones now. But this is uh, 2,100 cubic inches, 34 liters. Um, so it's a good size backpack. It's what I would consider uh, a tactical assault style pack. Um, that's really what the, the design of it is. Um, but for bushcrafting, and getting out camping, I think it's definitely something to consider as to, to throw into your mix of bags that you might have. Um, it holds a lot, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and dive into features, see what I got inside of it. So like any of the backpacks in the Legacy line from Expedition, this thing is built like a tank. It is solidly constructed. It's got the thousand denier uh, coated cordura material, um, molly webbing, box stitching, uh, heavy duty buckles, uh, big YKK zippers. I mean, everything about it is quality. It's sewn very nicely, um, and it's just heavy duty. And the thing with Max Edition packs is you can own a pack for years of theirs and, and use it hard. And it still looks brand new. They just they wear really well. They have a very stiff material on the outside. That's something to consider. Um, it's just very highly water repellent. Um, it's it's just great stuff. So this is no different than anything else in their legacy line. It's built like a tank. And the first thing that we see on the front of it is there's a nice wide compression strap that helps stabilize and and cinch down your load. You can bring that down as far as you want. It has three pockets. There's a, a slash pocket on the very front. And it goes all the way down this pocket. So it's all the way down here. Very deep. And there's a main pocket behind that. And this is what I would call the admin pocket. So you've got some storage back here. You got pen slots. You got something in here that you could put like a notebook or maybe a flashlight. That's very deep as well. It goes all the way down to the bottom of this pouch right here. And then you have the main pocket of the pack, the body of the pack. And that actually, if you take these side compression clips and undo those, you can get this open pretty far. It doesn't clamshell all the way, which I would have, that would have been a, a bonus for me. I love clamshell packs. You see my review of the Maxpedition Pygmy Falcon. That clamshell is completely open. This one does not. It goes down to a stopping point, but still pretty pretty accessible as far as how much you can get into the pack. And then on the inside of the pack, there is. This is going to be kind of hard to show to remove some of this stuff. There's a big zipper pocket with mesh. So, put whatever you need in there. Currently, I don't have anything. Top of the pack, grab handle, very nicely sewn. That thing is not going to pull out on you. Very well done. This white compression strap is actually removable. So, if you don't like that, you want that off the pack, you can take that completely off. It's up to you your option. Down the sides, 
There's Molly. And of course this side compression straps like I showed you. Help you cinch down your load. Moving around to the back of the pack. Nice curved shoulder straps. Decent amount of padding. With some of that breathable mesh type material on it that they use. You move the straps up. There's a pocket back here for your hydration system. And you hang it right there. It's also CCW or compatible. There is a Velcro panel right under here. So if you wanted to put a handgun back here, you can. I've got a blue foam pad sitting back there as my kneeling pad, sitting pad, and that helps also um, pad the load from my to my back. Now this is pretty well padded on its own, so it's not that I need extra padding, but it's a good spot to just, just store that pad for me because I don't use hydration bladders that often. There is a belt, which is a big plus for a pack of this size. You're going to need some kind of belt to help stabilize the load. And there is Molly and Alice attachments on the belt. So if you wanted to put a canteen pouch on here, like a, a Molly or Alice canteen pouch, you can do that, or some kind of little uh, possibles pouch would go there nicely. It's also tuckable. So if you don't want to use it, if you're, let's say, traveling with this pack and you want this thing to be a little bit more slick, you can um, tuck the belt with inside this channel right here and that'll be out of your way. And of course with the shoulder straps there is a sternum strap, D-rings, and it's fully adjustable. Now one thing to consider when you're looking at a pack of this size, um, it doesn't have a frame, it doesn't have an adjustable harness system. The bottom of the pack has multiple attachment points so you can strap something this way or this way vertical or horizontal it's also rubberized material which is awesome this is i think really a great feature for a backpack like this this is what makes this thing such a hard use bag you're going to be able to take this out in the woods drop this on the ground not worry about it it's going to it's going to hold up and, and protect the contents of your bag so that's a great feature right there Okay, for, for contents, I've added these Molly side pouches. These are um, from Spectre Gear. I got these on eBay. Brand new. Uh, really a nice pouch. They're big enough to hold a canteen or an Nalgene water bottle. So I've got a canteen on mine. And then on the side pouch over here, same thing. Spectre Gear pouch. I have my titanium canteen or cup. So this is gonna be big enough to hold any kind of canteen set you want if you're interested in that. Also will hold a full-size Nalgene in a cup. So it's a very versatile pouch. And having the Molly on the side able to add that to the pack to the side of the pack is, is awesome. On the front here, I've got an admin panel. This is from Milspec Monkey. This is the Milspec Monkey uh, small admin pouch in Coyote Tan. Nothing in there right now. I've also got this Condor uh, multi tool pouch. Got my Gerber multi tool in there. Moving to the inside of the pack on this outside pocket. I've got uh, a system that I use to hang my pack in a tree. This is just a uh, knotted cord with a, a carabiner. I've also got my headlamp. This is from Olight. Flip this down. I've got a water filtration system. This is the Frontier Pro. Got my tough possum pouch right here. This holds my fire kit. Got a ferro rod, some matches, a lighter, various items in there. Hidden woodsman pouch. This is my first aid kit. 
We've got all kinds of stuff in here. Scissors, tape. Got, got some moleskin. A little boo-boo pouch with some band-aids. Some gauze. A little bit of everything in there. Of course, toilet paper. Now, I probably should mention how I have this pack set up. This pack is set up for an overnight uh, trip. And my plans is, is to actually keep this in my car as my vehicle bag. I think this will make a nice vehicle go bag. I've done videos in the past of different go bags I've done, and this is my updated one. Um, this is just uh, has emergency stuff in it that I can spend the night in the woods if I have to, if I have to clean in my vehicle or extra camping gear, I've got it right here. Down the main pack. Got a couple dehydrated meals. Got another hidden woodsman pouch. This is my kitchen pouch. So I've got coffee, tea, got my lid, my canteen set. I've got a collapsible cup. My spork is in here. So there's just some additional items in here for brewing up the coffee, cooking food. And I've got my hammock bug net. This pouch here has uh, tent stakes, guy lines, and suspension system for my hammock. You can hear my dogs upstairs barking. Sorry about that. It's my Sea to Summit. Uh, Eros Pillow. Love this thing. My Grand Trunk Hammock. That's the double. Got a War Bonnet Tarp. Silky Saw, my Gomboy. And then a comfort item. This is U.S. Military Issue Whoopee, or poncho liner as they're called. It makes for a nice underquilt, makes for a nice blanket. Just a, it's an awesome item to have. And that's it. That's all I have in here. Not a lot of stuff, just uh, enough to get me by through the night. A couple things I need to add. As a, as a get-home bag, just, I'm going to probably need uh, a pair of socks in here to get me by, um, maybe a little extra food, of course I gotta fill up the canteens with water, make sure those are ready to go, um, and then I need to add a cutting tool, I want to add one of my knives to it, um, something that I'm not using all the time, probably gonna choose my SE4, knife. and then that'll be about it, that's all I really need, so add a knife, add some socks, a little bit of extra food, and some water, good to go, it's gonna be a nice pack for for an overnight trip and for um, storing in my vehicle. All right, that's about it. Um, about the only thing that I've done differently to this pack is I've changed out the paracord poles to make longer ones and make them a contrasting color so I can see them easier. Um, that's about it. I mean, the pack really doesn't need much customization to make it uh, ready to go. I love the Molly and the, and the Alice. Um, system that they have on this pack so it gives you a variety of ways of, of attaching pouches and that really helps with adding volume to the pack making it more usable um, overall it's a great pack um, uh, of course i won this so i didn't have to spend any money on it i know that's that probably makes a little bit of difference but um, if you're considering something in their legacy line and you want a good size day pack or overnight pack this might be something to look at for you definitely going to be a great vehicle pack or a go bag. Um, should serve me very well and I'm looking forward to doing an overnight with it real here, here real soon. So that's it. Alright guys, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you check out the Facebook group and the Instagram. Uh, those two channels are growing big and uh, got a lot of people on them and uh, that's always a good place to check out for extra content. If you're interested in ordering um, a patch, uh, there's a link down below to Big Cartel. Just go to Big Cartel, look up Prepared Wanderer, and I'm selling patches there. That helps support the channel as well. 
And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on The Prepared Wandering.